Good morning. Our thought for the devotion today comes from Deuteronomy 7, verse 6, where God calls his people a treasured possession. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. There is a name I love to hear. I love to tell of his worth. His name is music to my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. When I think of the words treasure hunt, I think of Camp Greentop, where I hunted for toys and trinkets, and the grand prize was a treasure chest of chocolate. Camp Greentop was in the mountains, and it was so wonderful to be able to wind through all the beautiful green foliage in the mountains, hunting for treasure, but my vision the picture I had in my mind the whole time I was doing it was that treasure chest of chocolate, looking forward uh, to that treasure uh, taste in my mouth. Well, God in our scripture for today calls us his treasured possession. And that's something that is such a joy to my heart, and I hope it's a joy to your heart, that God treasures us as his people. And I think about Keith, a Olympic snowboarder who was training for the Olympics. He competed with Sean White, the famous snowboarder with the red hair. And he even at times beat Sean White. He was that good. But during a train accident, he had a severe brain injury and was unable to compete anymore. And, but yet God enabled him to be an overcomer and to overcome his disability and to inspire many, many other people with henna injuries uh, by the power of God. And his testimony is a great inspiration to me and to many, many other people as he's able to overcome these difficult circumstances. And so I want us each to think about our own lives and how God has demonstrated to us that we are his treasured possession and that he loves us so much. Our Psalm for today is Psalm 136. And this is a list of how God demonstrates to his people that he loves us and that he takes care of us and that he is faithful. Beginning with verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him alone who does great wonders. His love endures forever, who by his understanding made the heavens. His love endures forever, who spread out the earth upon the waters. His love endures forever, who made the great lights. His love endures forever, the sun to govern the day. His love endures forever, the moon and stars to govern the night. His love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his love endures forever and brought Israel from among them. His love endures forever with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. His love endures forever. Well, that's quite a list, isn't it? Reinforcing the fact that God's people are his treasured possession. So I made a bit of a list as I thought about God's blessings in my life and his faithfulness in my life. I thought about my family, my wife, Nancy, and my daughter, uh, Christina, and our son-in-law, Jared, and our grandchildren, Matthew, Jeffrey, and Amelia. And I also thought about my church family here at St. John's and what a blessing uh, it is to fellowship and to serve the Lord with you, especially during these difficult times. And I thought about the gift of health and strength that God gives us each and every day. The Bible says, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And it gave me great peace to think about God's faithfulness in my life and how he's demonstrated and continues to demonstrate on a daily basis that I am his treasured possession. 
So I would encourage each one of you to make a list, to go home, and you can even open up to this Psalm, Psalm 136, to refresh your memory. But I would encourage each of you to take a piece of paper and just make a list of God's faithfulness to you and the blessings that he's given to you and to your family. And may, as you make this list, may you be reminded that you are his treasured, treasured possession. And may God grant us his Holy Spirit so that we can share with our friends and neighbors during the pandemic that they are loved by God and that they too are his treasured possession. To God be the glory. Amen.